Hi, my name's Mark, and recently I was invited by these guys. These are the Loxley lads. They invited me here at Stodden Barnes for a special event, and I also met this dodgy kid here. That's Zach Thornton. He helps design with the imposter who's in the background. And they brought me these. This is the CUZN, or Cousin Range of Darts. I'll tell you why they're called that a little bit later, but there are 1 to 10, so that's 10 sets of darts, and they wanted me to see all about their revolution in brass darts. Now I'm not a fan of brass darts myself, so I thought this is going to be a hard sell, but hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to make up your own minds. So let's have a look. Now a quick summary on the darts, basically the cousin are two straight barrels, one is slim and one is a Steve Hines style, two tapered barrels, one is grippy and the other one is normal, two smoothies, a weighted one and the other one's based on a very early, early Robin idea, two bomber styles, both based on the bishop which comes out at the end of the year and which I know a lot of the pro players have played around with and have really enjoyed. And the 09 is inspired by the tuck, and 10 is a curvy from way to dart in the theme of a dart from next year. Hi guys and welcome back to Love Darts. Today I'm going to be looking at the Loxley Cousin Range. Cousin? Cousins? Who knows? C-U-Z-N. Why C-U-Z-N? Copper and zinc. That combination makes brass. Now this is part of their revolution, which is to make more reasonable darts in brass, just like you see in the tungsten varieties. Now they brought out 10 different darts, that's right, 10 different darts at £11.95, which I think you'll agree with me is a fantastic price. Now right from the off, I'm thinking, what if you're a new starter in darts and you want to try a few different shapes, a few different weights, a few different thicknesses, these are going to be a great way to go. At 11.95, you can get the whole set for less than you can pay for a 9.75 target dart, for example. So these are going to be really, really good for new starters, for academies, for people who have just wanted to try something different. Now, in today's review, I'm not going to unbox all of them because they're all fairly the same in regards to the packaging and everything else. It's just obviously the barrels are going to be slightly different. So I'll show you a few close-ups, what you get in the box, and then we'll have a look and see what the range is like. One thing I will say about these is the flights are fantastic. They've got a really discreet feather look on the black style with that gold embossing on the top. Really, really nice. Absolutely love these flights. So I hope they bring them out by themselves because I definitely would use these flights. Now Loxley has recently really improved their packaging as well. I think you'll agree from the clam shape that they had, this is much more what we're used to seeing. You get to see the beautiful darts in there. You've got the plastic. Um, coating on there so you get to see exactly what's in the setup. You've also got all the details on the back. It's just nice and standard, that's what we want. So guys, laid out behind me, I have the entire range. I'm gonna go through now from one to 10. I'm probably not gonna be able to tell you which ones to go for. It's all gonna be personal preference. All I will say is that 11.95, that is super cheap. I personally think you should just buy the lot and have a play around with them, see what you like. It's not a lot of money. Now, Loxley did give me these for free, so obviously you're gonna be thinking, well, if he's been giving them for free, why would he be saying this? I'm gonna be honest about it. I didn't get these at all at first when I first got them, but I've had a lot of fun with them since. Anyway, I'm gonna have a throw. You have a look, see what you think. CUZN1 Now already they're super light and I'm not used to that, but 
they're going through the air really nicely and they've got a long stem on them that you'll notice. Now, you know if you know me that I don't like long stems, but with the lighter weight darts, they're still sitting upright, so maybe there's something in a lighter dart. Let's go throw a little bit more. CUZN number two. Now aside from the weight, the CUZN number 2 feels a lot like a straight barrel that you've thrown before. Um, I feel a bit sort of, I don't know, maybe a bit Glen Durrant, a bit, a bit Alan Souter, I'm not sure. They're, they're, there's some nice grip in there, they're really, really quite interesting. Anyway, another throw. CUZN number 3. CUZN number four. CUZN number five, a smooth barrel. Now I think I need to make it clear at this point that these darts are not going to feel a million pounds, okay? They are brass darts, they're going to feel a little bit cheaper made, but that doesn't change from the fun that you can have by throwing these and learning about what you like in a dart and what you don't like in a dart, which is equally as important. CUZN number 6. It's hard to see on the camera, but these black flights with the little detail on them, they look really, really nice when you go and clip them from the board. At the moment, they just look a standard black. You can occasionally get the glint of that gold Loxley logo on there, but they're a really nice looking flight. Now look guys, it's taken me quite a lot of time to get used to these smoothies, but that's okay. That's kind of why I wanted to have this whole range. You get to see what you like, what you don't like. Now, I've always been someone who says, yeah, I really do like a grippy dart. I've been playing now with the smooths for a little bit. I can see why. I, it just it doesn't give me that, that, that confidence when I'm releasing. It kind of feels, could it go left, could it go right? But I get a chance to try it again. It's, for, it's so cheap to be able to try, try the whole range. So it's not always a bad thing having the whole range. You can go back to things. You'll find that your tastes change very much like with your food and stuff as well. With darts, sometimes it might be a case you go, oh, I'm, I need something different. So with this whole range, you get a real chance to try and see, oh, maybe I overlook this. Maybe my, maybe my preferences have changed. CUZN7. Now these are very much like what I've been throwing um, from the mission range. So 
Let's give these a go. They're kind of like a bomb, a little bit more extended. Let's give them a go. Now, if you were to twist my arm and say which darts did I prefer out of all of these, it would be these ones. Although I performed a little bit better with another set, but you'll see that in a minute anyway. Uh, these darts were fantastically balanced, but what I found with all of these darts is that no matter which I threw, they were going into the board at a nice angle, so there's something to be said about throwing a lighter dart, which I think all of you should try. Guys, that second throw in now. I can already feel this is what I'm really enjoying, what I'm comfortable with at the moment. They're brass, they're a little bit lighter, but that is the only difference that I've noticed in these. I've got such a feel, you know, they feel like a tungsten dart. They feel, it's so hard to explain. All brass darts that you kind of throw, they feel chunky and like a cheaper dart. These are based on proper darts. The only difference that I'm feeling is the weight in them, which you naturally get when you use a brass darts compared to a tungsten darts. So I'm enjoying them so far. CUZN 8. The darts come in a small black case with a point protector, stems, flights, barrels and points all included. I'll show you in the gallery at the end. CUZN9 I still can't get over how much value you're getting with all of these darts. They're so cheap and you can get all of these varieties to really play with and enjoy. It, it, you need to try. CUZN 10. So guys, I didn't like the feel of these darts at first, but then I kind of moved my grip ever so slightly, and I hit a 180. So you learn as you go through with these, and I think that's really what these darts are all about. I did, uh, I could use these in a game. Um, I probably wouldn't personally for myself, just because I still have that that thing about tungsten. Plus, I don't like the brass colour, but that's hey, that's just me. Um, these darts though, there is just something very exciting about being able to try lots and lots of different varieties. I've got all 10 of them laid out there, I'm playing with different things. I can narrow it down, I can see what I like in them. You know, it is really, really a great way to learn what you like in a dart. Once you've found your set, you could sell the range. You could, you know, if you're doing a, an academy, you can go, right, these ones suit you, move on to the next person. It'll suit someone else. There is something for everyone in this range. So what do I think in summary about the cousin range of darts from Loxley? I'll be honest, I did not think that I would enjoy these at all. I was like, guys, you're giving me old technology. This is like VHS in a digital world, but I'm starting to see what they're getting at here. This is a revolution, they're calling it, because all of these barrels feel like proper darts that I've thrown, I've tried, I've tested. And for such a cheap price, you've got beginners, you've got people who are coming in from academies, people to learn. This is a really, really cheap way for them to try loads and loads of different darts, different style, and start working out exactly where they want to be throwing, what they want to be throwing, and trying all the different combinations. Now that being said, it did take a little bit of getting used to holding a brass star and you can feel the lightness in it. It feels a little bit hollow in comparison to say a 24 gram dart that you may throw. 
However, once you've got over that, you really do feel the same kind of feeling in your hand, so it's getting used to the weight element of the dart more than anything else. That combined with these flights, I think these are really, really well priced. I think they're going to do really well, and I really think you should try them. If there's a shape you've always wanted to try but you didn't want to invest, this could be a really good option for you. Get it for cheap, try and see how you feel about it, and hey, you can move on to something else if that's really what you're looking for. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you want to see more from me. All of your likes, shares, comments, I do read them all. I really, really do appreciate it, and it brings a lot to me when I do these videos. It takes a lot of time, and I really do hope you enjoy it. Now we're coming up to the Christmas period, there's lots of other launches going on, so please, please do subscribe so you can see when the new content comes out. Hopefully with a new target range, win more range, we've got loads and loads of new stuff coming up, so I hope you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and as always, remember, love darts.